Hello everyone and welcome back to another, a very nice chess game from the romantic era of chess. And in this chess game we have Ignaz von Kolisch with the white pieces and his opponent is Emil Andre. And let's see what happened in this chess game. This chess game was played in the Paris chess tournament in 1867 in Paris. Who was the winner of the tournament? Let me immediately tell you that. Well, the winner was Ignaz von Kolisch. Steinitz was also competing in the same chess tournament and there was also a few other strong chess players but Kolisch was the winner. So you can see that he was a pretty strong chess player in the 1860s. So let's quickly check out what happened in this chess game. Kolisch starts the game with pushing the e-pawn e5, knight out, knight out and the Italian game. And the Evans Gambit, the classic opening from the Romantic era of chess. Bishop back, a4, and a5 is coming. Sacrificing the pawn, knight takes on b4. a5, defending the bishop, but now, after castling, bishop back, d4 is coming. d6, queen out, and this is already looking pretty grim for black. So as you can see, attacking on f7. How to defend. So, black misplayed this from the opening, as you can see. After developing the knight, simply Kolish captured on f7, defending the king and losing the casting rights, and the damage has been done, retreating the bishop after capturing the pawn. Developing the queen, queen over, not developing yet. D takes on e5, knight takes bishop, pawn takes knight, knight takes on e5, knight takes, d takes on e5. And look at this position, well white is much better, white pieces are more active, even though black has the bishop here, which is insignificant, white has the better position, the king is in the center, and now white played the obvious move. This is the obvious move, pushing the f-pawn and hoping to open the f-file. Developing the bishop but now capturing the pawn. Checking the king, after moving the king, capturing the pawn. This was the trick of black. So black was hoping that white was going to push the g-pawn but that's never going to happen because Ignaz von Kolisch was not a chess petzer. He played knight to d2. What happens if pushing the g-pawn? Then simply checking the king and then checkmate. So, of course, that is out of questions. Knight to d2, g6, knight to f3, defending the queen, and now checking the king, bishop to h6. The dark squares are looking pretty weak. King to f7 was played. But what happens if king to e8? Then pinning and winning. The queen is pinned and this is losing. So as you clearly can see there are not so many good spots for the king. So if king to g8, then again rook from f to e1 and after defending the queen pushing the pawn and that's a nasty check to the king. The king is boxed in, there is no escape, only defense, capturing the bishop, check mate. So you can see that there are not so many safe spots. So after checking the king, king to f7. And now what would you do? Well, before checking, occupying the important e-file. After defending the queen, well, hoping to exchange the queens. But exchanging the queens is going to favor for black. Because white has the attack, why ruin the attack? Keep attacking is important because the king is looking extremely unsafe. The king's safety has been compromised. So keep attacking. Knight to g5 and we have king to g8. If the other way, if king to f6, then rook to e8. Check mate. There is no defense. And black is getting checkmated. So checking the king, king to g8 and then capturing the pawn. And this is attacking to rook. So where is the rook going? Well, there are not so many safe spots. So one of the only safe spots, maybe if rook to d8, then capturing the c pawn, 
both attacking the bishop, attacking the rook, and threatening checkmate. So it looks like the rook is safe. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Can you guess the next move of Ignaz von Kolisch? He played the move and black is in deep trouble. So if I give you 3 seconds, can you guess the next move of white? What would you do in this position? 1, 2 and 3. Well, this is the move of Ignaz von Kolisch. He is smashing in with the queen. Queen takes on c8. What a move. Bang. Bishop takes on c8. And Kolisch played rook d8. Check. Only defense. Rook takes. On f8. Check. Mate. What a fantastic checkmate. What a beautiful chess game from the romantic era of chess. Even Steinitz was competing in this tournament, but Kolisch was the winner. It was not Steinitz. And in that year, Steinitz, one year before this chess tournament, Steinitz defeated Adolf Henderson, one of the strongest chess players at the time. And yet, and I'm thinking that Steinitz was also one of the favorites in this tournament, and it was a huge and a very long chess tournament, but he finished the tournament in the third place. Kolisch was the winner. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.